I'm not doing what I what I said, but basically it's no thought. It's that one. So then, and that one. Be quiet. I think if you did that on bare skin, it would have been <laughs> quite fascinating because you know the the um, texture of the skin and, mm -hmm. and sensations and all that stuff. Mm. Everything that comes close. Yes, yeah, beautiful, actually, isn't it? So it creates itself. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and then perhaps what I heard once was that artists need another artist to tell them when to stop. Yes, and this, we experienced this here with John in the beginning. With his poetry. Exactly. Yes. Oh, you're and, filming it, great. And the I, I Ching, it says, he who knows when to stop never fails. Ooh, never starts. <laughs> no, no, no. The, the focus is on who knows when to stop. Yeah. Very good. And you then who is doing the thing? So part of the art is observing. That's it. Observing the artist hmm. himself. Not even observing, but just. So, I'll so tell you one thing I learned though from my student mm -hmm. is, if you, you did you play the guitar or anything? No. If you, sure let's think of an example. If you make a mistake, mm -hmm. you you can learn the mistake. And yeah. You have to kind of unlearn it before you can then re... And he was very good at doing the first part, but he mm. didn't know when to stop. So <laughs> he, he kept going off the walls. <laughs> he didn't realise, like, oh, I made a mistake here, right? right. But he, w he couldn't correct it. Mm -hmm. he, he kept... Hello! <laughs> he, he just kept yeah. doing it again, and he'd smack himself. No, I mustn't do that. But somehow... So the moving just one way, one way, a mechanical what about thing. Edible art here, you, you're creating a pie or something. You've already gone to the skin and now you're edible, right? <laughs> definitely time this. This is, this is the animal, no, it's a good, it's the a good animal idea. nature. I like yeah. the uh, result. Yeah. Mm -hmm.